guys, Dave here. This is a preview of what we're going to have on the Centurions Review website in February of 2019. Let's first go over what we did last month. Uh, first review was Nomads No More. It's from Paper Wars Magazine. Len Kroll did the review. Um, it's about the Whites vs. Reds and the uh, Russian Civil War. I helped them play test it. Nice game. The second uh, game we reviewed was Spellbinder from Task Force Games. It's an old uh, micro game uh, which allows uh, two to four players. Most war games only allow one or two, so that's what was unique about it. The next game was from Counterfact Magazine. It was War in the Mega City. It's from Joseph Miranda. It's about uh, modern combat in cities with over 10 million inhabitants. Uh, it hit some really interesting ideas. Uh, including uh, being able to shut off garbage services to your enemy. I've never seen that mechanic in a game before. Um, had some playtesting issues though. Uh, uh, I found some uh, errors and omissions in it, so it felt like if they playtested it more, it would have made like a much better game, but it, it was all right. And the last one was uh, Choose Your Own Adventure, House of Danger. I always watched, uh, or excuse me, read uh, uh, Choose Your Own Adventures when I was a kid, so I have a copy of that book. Uh, I love the book. Uh, the board game's even better. It has new mechanics that aren't in the book, so I just loved it. The games we'll be reviewing for February of 2019 are as follows. The first one is already uh, has already been previewed on our website. It's Alliance the Card Game. It's a Kickstarter that's uh, going on right now. Basically, it's a card game where your army is bailing another army and you fight until the other army is completely defeated, then you try to defeat their leader. Um, we, we reviewed the basic rules, which were really simple. They're really just for kids. Um, they're working on some advanced rules, which will be for teenagers and adults, so th those would probably be uh, more appreciated by most gamers, the advanced rules. The second game uh, we're going to review this month is Battle for Italy from Avalon Hill. I've played the game in the past. Um, I've had a Unpunched copy, unpunched copy of it on my desk for years now, so I'm finally gonna try it out again. I had fun the last time I played it, which was years back. So, this was originally from I believe Operational Studies Group, and it was a, a micro game that was in a Ziploc bag. The Avalon Hill version has it in a box, and what's interesting about it for it has a uh, mounted map, which is very unusual for a micro game. I can't think of any other micro games offhand that have a mounted map. The next game we're going to review is from Victory Point Games. It's Hell's Gate, which is about uh, battling in the Ukraine's Corsum pocket in World War II. Um, it doesn't have... Most war games are what I, what I would call they're kind of based on standard wargaming rules. They're kind of the similarities between all wargaming rules. This is kind of a little bit different. Uh, the mechanics are a little bit different than uh, what I would consider standard wargaming rules, so I think a lot of people will find that of interest. Uh, I'll have a root review of that posted pretty soon, so I think it will be a good read. The next one is Dalek Dice. Dalek Dice is based on uh, Doctor Who uh, intellectual property from BBC. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but uh, the price was cheap, so I picked it up. I'll try it out and I'll let everyone know if I like the game. The next thing we're going to have here is a dud of the month. Uh, occasionally I come across a game that uh, I try out that is so bad, I just don't want to review it because I, I don't even want to think about the game. It was so bad. So The dud of the month is from Dungeons & Dragons, uh, TSR uh, Endless Quest number 9. It's a top secret book, Robbers and Robots. I found no enjoyment whatsoever uh, playing this choose-your-own-adventure type book. Normally I love playing choose-your-own-adventure type games, but I got no enjoyment out of this whatsoever, and I'll explain why. Uh, the game starts with some fluff talking about how your uncle has a robot factory, blah, blah, blah. So basically, in a nutshell, I, I went for a, a walk in the game and noticed that one of my uncle's employees was acting suspiciously so I snuck around him and entered the robot factory to try and figure out what was going on. So after looking around a little bit I found some of the employees uh, locked up so I, I unlocked them and untied them and called the police and the police came and arrested the perpetrator and the story was over. I don't even think it took 10 minutes of reading to solve the game and if in a, in a choose your own adventure game if the 
the best solution is just to call the police. I mean, th that's not an adventure game. That's just silly. So, uh, anyhow, once a month I'm going to have a dud of the month. So, anyhow, I appreciate you guys uh, reading my reviews on my website, and I appreciate you watching my videos, and I especially like the comments that you leave. I appreciate your patronage, and have a good evening.